So this was awesome, right? Well, have you ever wondered how the big YouTubers like Peter McKinnon or Chris Howe create their intros? Well, let me tell you something. Most likely they are not creating it themselves. Instead, they go ahead and buy a template. There are a few websites out there where you can buy templates, but let's say we don't want to spend that much amount of money on a template or a preset. So instead, we just go ahead and create it ourselves. But before we start this video, I want to go ahead and get two things out of the way. First thing is, I just want to say thank you to you all. We're close to 200 subscribers and I couldn't imagine this when I first started this channel. So the second thing is everything that you saw in this intro, except the footage, is created by myself. So this comes together as is right now. But in order to save you some time, I've created 35 mats, 15 text effects, two light leaks, five different parallax effects. So you can go ahead and download them, but not as usual. I won't link them in the description, just because for this one reason, the file sizes are too big for my Google Drive. So what you can do is go ahead and email me. I will send you a custom link to probably WeTransfer, where you can download all this stuff for free, but you also have the option to pay. I don't want to beg for money or whatever. If you want to get them for free, you can. But if you want to donate me a cup of coffee or whatever, you can donate from one cent to whatever it is that you want to pay for those templates. So with that being out of the way, let's get into DaVinci Resolve and break down the editing process of this <laughs> intro. So what you see now is the complete project. There's everything in that you just saw. So let's start with our first step is always our music. So let's just deactivate this. So first step you want to do is go and search for music track that you like and pick five to 10 seconds out of this track for your intro. After I've finished picking my track, I went ahead, listened to it several times so I get an idea of what the beat is. And after that, I highlighted my track, I listened to it and whenever I heard a beat, I just go ahead and hit M on my keyboard. So this is creating my markers, which is really useful when cutting your footage. All right, so with that done, should look something similar to this. And then I went ahead and put in my base footage. So this is just the base footage, there's not much going on. You see in this specific clip, I already added a mat and I put some color in it, but we'll come to that later. So then I made a compound clip. Let me just decompose this. This looks like this. So let me just deactivate this as well. So this is my base footage and I, I went ahead, I duplicated this clip two times and put one on the right side and one on the left side. And then I went ahead went to the color tab and I choose this clip, the red one, and I just dragged in some red in the offset part. Went ahead to the next one that is on the left and I dragged in some blue to make it visually appealing. So in my base clip, I just went ahead and pulled out all the saturation to make it black and white. So the next clip is just some bottle of whiskey pouring into a glass. And I went ahead, did the same as before then went ahead, this is just a snowboarding clip where I dragged out all the saturation. There is our clip from the beginning, which we had right here. I put it in there again, and then I get some winter snowy skiing area. Then another clip. And this one is actually the clip from this guy holding his camera. I cropped in the right side completely, and then I went ahead Go into effects library, open effects and add some Gaussian blur in it. So this looks blurry. There's a completely white solid and another time this guy with just some purple offset right here. So the next step is that I've created mats. And if you don't know how to create mats, let me show you really quick. Go to effects library, go to effects and drag in a fusion composition and because an intro is very fast paced editing. Your fusion composition shouldn't be longer than one or two seconds. So let's cut this at two seconds. 
go to the fusion page and in order to create a mat all you gotta do is drag in a background and with this background highlighted drag in another background so background number one we go ahead and drag out all the alpha to make this transparent and make background number two complete white from there on with background number two selected now let's add rectangle one and make this the size that you want let's say something like this and then create another rectangle something like this and then you can go ahead and animate this let's say i want to make this move from there down all the way to the right so i go from frame number zero mark my center point and then i go to frame number 10 and drag this down completely and then i go ahead go to rectangle one and let's say i want to make this move from left to right so i keyframe this at this specific position go to frame 10 and then go all the way to the right so what we've created is something like this pretty fast but as i said making an intro is fast paced editing so when you've done that go to the deliver tab and from there on this is pretty important otherwise it wouldn't be created as a mat with a with an alpha channel so go ahead go to individual clips then choose quicktime which is fine and then go to codec and then choose dnx hr and their resolution you can leave the resolution as is and check export alpha and alpha mode pre-multiplied is fine so now you saw that your in and out points turned yellow and then you have to drag the in point all the way to your fusion clip that you've just created right so with dnh xr set and export alpha set you just hit export uh, add to render queue and then hit render one and this is rendered as a mat so when you want to import this as a mat go to your media pool you search for the mat that you've just created so these are all the mats that i've created and let's say we want to import this as a mat so let's right click the one that we choose and add to media pool as mat this one is pretty important to make sure this is imported the right way you have your clip here and down on the bottom next to this music note is a white rectangle with a black dot in it this means this is imported as a mat so let's go back to our edit tab let's just activate all of this so now once all of this is activated let's just watch what's going on in there we have our base clip here and on this clip this is a compound clip where i dragged some this is just the base footage where i dragged in some yellow in the offset and also there's this text effect going on as well but also this light leak effect that you can see right here this makes it just a little more visually appealing so then after i've added this just laid it on top and now where we are in the next clip things get a little more interesting because there's actually the first mat that i added this video if i deactivate this just watch what happens on the left and on the right side if i activate this there's this clip from the editing timeline is going on in there so you probably see it right here and right here and this is the mat that i added on the left one it's already there and on the right side it's going up but i didn't like the color that was in this specific clip so i went ahead and dragged out all the saturation just to five and added some blue in the highlights so this is a little more bluish and in order to add a mat go to your color tab or first highlight the clip that you want the mat to be placed on then go to the color tab then search for the clip once again and this is my basic clip right and this is the mat that i added what you have to do now is right click add an alpha output so this blue dot is created and connect this blue dot to the blue rectangle on your clip so now with this done right click on your clip and add mat timeline mats and there are all your mats that you imported recently so step number one if this isn't shown you can just invert it so it looks something like this and the clip below is in the mat right but i want 
my original clip to be shown. Let's go ahead. There's another thing going on right here. So there's my fusion composition, which is the text effect that is showing behind my mat. If I deactivate this, you can see there's my fusion composition. And what I did is I went to my inspector, composite mode, and hit luminosity and drag down a little bit of the opacity to make it not look like this. So this is this down here is my basic clip and I duplicated this and put it on top. And on top of this clip, I went to the color page. I dragged out all the saturation to make this black and white in my mat. And I also added my mat, which looks something like this. Those triangles are my mat. And what I also did was because this is blurry, I added a Gaussian blur to it to make it a little more fancy, visually appealing or whatever. Let's keep on going. There is my fusion composition with this text effect from the clip before, but there's another fusion composition, which is this text effect, use text effects. If I deactivate this, activate this, and this is just revealing. So then this tutorials comes in, which is basically this clip right here. I duplicated it, dragged it all the way to the left and added a mat, which is my text effects mat like this. This is just a text that I created and exported it as a mat. Now it shows the clip from this guy in the letters of the tutorials. So go ahead and there is the light leak once again and also this text effect, which one text comes in from the left and one comes in from the right. So let's go ahead and add some stylized mat to this clip because I decomposed it before the mat is gone. So let's go ahead, go to my color page. This is the clip that I want to add a mat. So I right click, add alpha output. I connect those and let's say I want to add a mat and I know that I want to add mat 23. So this looks something like this, but now it's only showing the X's and O's, the clip behind it. Let's invert it and it shows my completely clip with the X's and O's in it. But let's say I don't want this mat. Let's add another mat, go to 22. Now this is also an X's and O mat, but this is animated a little more because this axes are spinning. So we just added a mat and stylized it. And then we go ahead, go to our next clip, which is my basic clip, the snowboarding clip. And I dragged in a clip from my media pool where a guy pours some coffee right here. So I added this clip on top and to this clip, I added a mat. What I also did there, is added Gaussian blur as well to make it blurry. So my next step was go ahead, go to my next clip, which is right here. This is just the base clip from the beginning. And I added a text effect. This is right here. Photo, video, and I guess that was travel. I also changed my composite mode to add and I dragged down the opacity so we can watch through our letters where we transition into our next clip where my base clip is this timeline and the mat is on the guy working on set timeline. So I went ahead and added a mat to the guy and this is the mat. It's just moving from there. This line is moving down and this line is moving to the right. Next step was I left the text effect in there and now we are at the clip from the camera where I cropped it all the way to the right and then I duplicated this clip and put it on top of everything else. And on this clip, this is the same clip as shown here, but I dragged out all the saturation and added a mat, which was the exact same mat as I used in the clip before. So to this clip, to my base clip, I added Gaussian blur as well to make it blurry, but I also added this X's and O's mat to stylize it. So then I added a solid color, which was white, made a composite clip that I can add a mat and let's just do this. So this is my composite clip, add an alpha output and then just add a mat. And let's say we want 20, but let's say we want to make it white again. So just invert the color and then go back to our edit tab. And I also got text effect in here. So this is this fusion composition. So I also added a mat to my base clip, which is this right here. This is also the clip from the beginning where the girl pours some coffee in the guy's cup. And then I added this clip, which was already shown in here. So I went ahead and put this on the right because I thought it looks cool. All right, and then to our last clip, I dragged in my logo. Then I added this clip from the guy, went in my color tab, 
and put some purple in the offset. So then I duplicated it, put down the offset, put out the offset color and added a matte, which is shown right here. So the matte just reveals the normal color, color as the matte is moving. So right, that's pretty insane and it's so easy to do. If you have any questions about this topic, about creating your intro or whatever, leave it in the comments down below. I will answer every single question that you guys have. So that's it for today's video. If this was any helpful to you, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe because this would just help the channel a ton. And yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. See you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.